Hi there, Ashley from The Misma here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up your first year in accounts in The Misma as an accountant for one of your clients. So, at the moment, I am in the agent account, so my agent is called The Simpsons, and I've gone to the client list. And you can navigate to the client that you want to begin working on and importing the data for. So, if I go to Le The Leftorium Limited, now this process. Uh, the first step is to make sure you've got your accounting period set up. So if you do have a previous accounting period that you need to put through the accounts for the comparative column for the final accounts, you will need to import a trial balance for that. And I'll show you how to set up the accounting period and how to import the trial balance for that period. So when you go to settings and then accounting period, you will normally have one accounting period the first time you set this up. However, you can add new ones. Now, before you do this, I just want to make sure that you have entered the correct registration date as there is a validation on the MISMA that will restrict you from creating accounting periods before the registration date. So just make sure that is correct. And then when you go to accounting period, select edit. And if the registration date is prior to this period, you can just simply click that and add a previous year. So once you've added that previous year, it, it will literally do as it says, and it adds that previous year. Now, if I wanted to add another previous year, because again, the uh, date, uh, the, my registration date is before the start date, then I can add another one. Okay, so when I select edit now, you can also change the existing years. If you decided that, hey, there's an accounting period that's slightly different to the norm, you can edit the date. So if you had an extended period, this could be the 1st of August 2018. And then you can update that. There you go. So then you have an extended period and that will feed through to the year and accounts module and it will update accordingly. Okay. Uh, so that is the accounting period side. Now, at any point in time, I can switch between each of the different accounting periods. And to import your trial balance, you'll need to come up to accounting tools, select trial balance entry. And in the top right hand corner, you've got this download sample. Now, by using the download sample, uh, it's, it's essentially an example of what a trial balance import will look like. And you can begin building your trial balance import from any other software in order to import it into the system. Um, but if you've already exported one from a different software, you can also import that into the system and there will be this mapping process. So if I select choose file, and then here, I, I already have one that I've created. So I just want to go down to TB import. There it is. Upload. So on this page, I then have the ability to map my columns to the trial balance import. So we've got account name, ledger code, and amount. Right now, we actually use the single column for amount. So negatives are credits and positives are debits. So if we select uh, account name, account code, balance, next. And I've actually got a lot of transactions in this import. <laughs> so let's let that load. There you go. So everything has now been pulled through. I actually used the standard Numisma nominal codes for this import. So it's picked up, picked up everything automatically for me. And I did that by going up to accountant tools, selecting nominal code. And in the top right hand corner, you can download a list of all of our nominal codes. Okay, so in here, if you decided that there is a transaction that hasn't been correctly allocated, you can quickly click that and select a new nominal code to allocate it to. So I'm just gonna put that sales commission and enter a description. So the description will be in the Numisma account. So you can always refer back to it and you know exactly what it is and why you've done it. So just quickly scan down all of these. If you did want to change the amount, you can. 
And you can always change this later as well, because the way we've done this is that it will import it as a journal. And this column here is actually the statement. So it's just helping you out by telling you which statement it's part of. Is it part of the profit and loss or is it part of the balance sheet? Um, really useful for junior members of staff that may not know the difference between the two just yet, but they're still learning. Okay. Exchange difference. And that's everything. So all of the normal codes have now been allocated. And what you do want to make sure of is to update the date that you want to import the trial balance as of. So right now I've got the accounting period the 1st of January to the 31st of December, but I just want to import it as, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do the 15th of February 2021 for this one. And I'll save that. But if I wanted to edit it, I can. So import. So that's just uploading. It's done 7% so far. There you go. So the trial balance has been imported and the debit and credit total validated successfully. So this trial balance has now been imported into the system. Okay, so when we go to accountant, journals, you've got this trial balance import here. So if I select transaction, you can see all of the double uh, double entry for this journal. And you can go and edit it. So here I can change the date if I wanted to, or I could change each of the individual transactions, or I can add more lines to it to, to add more transactions. Okay. Um, and then what I'm just going to do is copy this. And I'm going to create it as of the 31st of December 2020 to generate it for the previous year. So save. Okay, so the reason for this is there were some entries that contrad off against each other. So it's put them through as zeros instead of amounts. So I can quickly go in, delete all of the contrad entries. This is where I went through and I allocated some new transactions as, as I was going down the list on the trial balance entry. So we can delete them. Save that. There you go, it's added successfully now. Essentially what happened is when I imported the trial balance and I had some blank codes, I allocated new codes to it. And as a result, the existing entries of the same code contrad off because one was minus 1000 and one was positive 1000. So the systems recognized it as zero. Um, but that's added successfully now. So if I go to the previous year, the trial balance import is in the system. And as a result, I can go to settings, accounting period. And for the year 2020, I just want to lock and close the period. By doing this, it will close the period and carry the figures forward to the next year. So let's have a look at the final accounts first before I do this. Full accounts. So I'm, I'm in 2020 at the moment, so there shouldn't be any comparative figures. Uh, you can fill in all of your details and it will populate the accounts for you. Okay, here we go. So we've got the turnover. So there's a lot of figures that contra off because I just went through the trial balance import and put 1,000 minus 1,000, 1,000 minus 1,000. So it's not really <laughs> increasing that much, but there you go. 
So this set of accounts has been populated. Fantastic. The notes, uh, the employee note will be pulled through from the payroll automatically. And the general information would also be pulled through from the settings. But right now in the settings, I haven't populated that, but you can. So if I go to 2021 now and have a look at those figures, and I want to go to the income statement. There you go. So we've got two years in there. But one really important thing that I haven't done yet, I've imported two trial balance entries. And the first year, I haven't closed. So that hasn't closed the period and carried forward, uh, carried the figures forward to the next year. So that is a very important element that you you would need to do in, in the platform. So when I go to settings, I can action. So if I select 2020 in the action column, you can then lock the accounting period and you can close the accounting period. Okay, so I need to close the period before that as well. Whoops, I created too many accounting periods. <laughs> so if we go back to accounting period, I need to lock this one. And then I need to close that one. So that closes the books. It posts all of the transactions from the balance sheet to, sorry, from the PL to the balance sheet. And then it will enable you to create the next year. So again, I can close the accounting period. So now, now that accounting period has been closed, you can see it's it's locked in the operating profit, the corporation tax, and the net profit. So if I go back to the accounts now and look at the balance sheet, just let that load. There you go. So everything has been recalculated now and 2021 now takes into account the opening balances from 2020. And all of the figures are populated. So that's how you can import your trial balances. Very quick process once you have the data you need. And then once you're ready, you can submit those to Companies House and you can begin working on your CT600. And the CT600, it will calculate majority of the uh, elements for you, like AIA on additions of assets, and it will add certain add backs back to the PL as well for you. So I haven't done any of this. It's just automatically picked up that they are disallowable expenses and it's added it back for you. Uh, but you can go in and you can change that. So if I go to CT other adjustment settings, or sorry, CT adjustment settings, There you go. You can come to this PL adjustments, edit that, and you can change these figures. So if I wanted to put that to 2000, I can. You can change absolutely anything here. Okay. So that is it for today's video on how to import the trial balances into the account. And if you do have any other questions, feel free to get in touch on 020-3021-2326 or support at namisma.co.uk. All right, thank you, bye.